Hi there, this is Stephen Foskett. I'm demonstrating two applications at once here. Uh, the first is this I Show You HD screen capture application, which is pretty cool. Uh, captures what I'm doing on the screen. Uh, what I really like to talk about though is, is Disk Inventory X, which is a, a tree mapping uh, space visualization product for OS X. Um, it's pretty neat uh, what it'll do. So if you look here, you'll see uh, I've got 231 gigs used on my uh, MacBook Pro here. and uh, and this is it, that's my whole hard drive. Each of these squares represents a file uh, on the drive. And I can use this to quickly zoom in and figure out what's taking up all that space. Uh, so if I click here on users, I can see 200 gigs is in the users directory. That's not a big surprise. So let's zoom in there and see what that is. Um, you know, it's in my uh, user directory. Um, well, let's see, I got movies. I got a bunch of movies that I'm downloading here. I got the whole last season lost that I've been rewatching before the new season starts. Uh, you know, so I, I got to clean that stuff up. Uh, music, you know, I got a big iTunes library, a uh, bunch of TV shows downloaded from the TiVo there. Uh, downloads, uh, I got a lot of stuff there that's, uh, you know, temporary downloads that I got to delete and clean up. Pictures, if we look at this, uh, you know, Apple actually stores all of your photos from iPhoto in a single file. Here it's a 25 gig file. It's the single largest thing on my drive. Uh, it's not really so good for uh, space use, but uh, there, there you have it. Uh, but look at this library. You know, this is where applications are, are stored on the Mac. And I, I was surprised to see that it's uh, this big, 25 gigs. So uh, I'm going to expand that and see what, uh, expand it and see what's in here. Well, VirtualBox, you know, we got some big virtual disk images. Uh, you know, there's my mail. I got six gigs of mail. Um, iTunes, this was a big surprise because the this is just the iTunes application. Remember, the iTunes files all live up here in the music folder. So uh, I was surprised to see that there's uh, over a gig here couldn't imagine the application itself was that big, and it's not. Um, and none of the uh, inf none of the stuff it's storing is is, is that big uh, either. And it turns out that uh, most of this stuff, 1.2 gigs, is actually in an iPhone uh, software updates directory. You can't quite see what it says here, but it says iPhone software updates. Um, and under that, there's actually five different uh, 250 meg files. Uh, each one of those is a full iTunes image or uh, iPhone software image, and uh, it doesn't clean up after itself, which you know is, is amazing. Uh, you really only need one of these uh, around if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna be able to restore your iPhone. So you know it's no problem at all to delete these old ones. You know, so this is 2.0. I'm gonna delete that guy. Uh, you know, I delete it right here from from within the disk inventory program. Um, you know, and uh, go ahead and delete the rest of these two and clean it up. So. It's a pretty neat uh, way to see what's taking up the space and uh, get a handle on really what's filling up your drive. 